where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right. Good day, folks. It is a beauty here today. Nice, clear sky. And as you can see, there is virtually no snow on the ground here at the moment. But it is still quite cold. It's minus 10 currently. And I thought, what a great opportunity to get out and do a little bit of exploring, looking in the back of fields for old dump sites without the fear of getting covered in ticks. <laughs> That's right. Still too cold for ticks. So, I got a couple sites in mind. And I'll get you back up once we get there. Hang tight. Well, I decided to stop here, folks, before going any further. I'll come down over the bank here. Because this area kind of looks to be of interest to me. I see some apple trees down in here. It's kind of cleared out a bit down in here as well. The trees are all sort of scattered. Let me zoom out here. Yeah, there's a, seems to be a lot of apple trees down through here, actually. There's some over that way as well. I'm getting down in here now. See how this is kind of... There's no undergrowth down here. Here's a big old apple tree here. Look at this one. It's big and dead by the looks of it. But look. Like a rock property line or something going on here. Alright, I'm going to look around. I'll get you back up if I find anything. Well, no glass yet, folks, but check this out. Big old jawbone to something there. <laughs> it's an old one too, by the looks of it. Kind of right on this rock line here. Okay, so I lo located a bit of stuff right here, just some iron stuff. There's something here frozen into the ground. And right here looks like a big old wagon wheel rim here's the other part to it here but no glass yet hmm well keep looking I guess get my steps in today one of these days I might invest in a GoPro be so much better just have it running while I'm walking through the woods like this. Okay, with much walking, folks, I have located this galvanized pail. Right here I see an enamelware pot which actually looks to be in fairly good condition I don't know if the bottom's still in there or not right over there I see a couple more things here's a piece of metal here I just thought I'd get you up in case I find anything look wagon wheel uh, axle there there's a bucket or something there here's a big huge wagon wheel rim there here's some more stuff up in here another paint bucket no glass yet though I'm going to try to get over there where that other stuff was see if there's anything there good chance to check these root clumps too I don't see any glass in there though Okay, here are these are. There's another one there. This stuff seems to have quite a bit of 
deadfall on top of it so there could be stuff down in here buried but there's a piece of metal there okay so we got this place logged for now and uh well, there's another right here there's something else there this stuff's got some age to it too see i walked right by that last time i didn't even see it I checked that root pump. Oh. I see there's some other stuff over here too. Okay, I'll get you down for now. If I find any glass on the surface, I'll get you back up. If not, I'm just gonna keep exploring around. Then I'll see you on the next site. <coughs> 15 minutes later. Okay, viewers, I'm at the second spot here now. This is one that I actually met, have wanted to check out. The last time I was here, when I left, I was driving down the road and I discovered I was covered in ticks. <laughs> so, check it out. See this big patch of ice here? That's down in a cellar hole. Right over here is another part of the cellar hole. And this is a high spot in here which probably had a chimney sitting on it. So this is a pretty good sized hole here down behind is a field and that is actually what I want to check out I want to check down around that field so I'm gonna get out of that okay folks so I walked way down through the woods that way and around the back of that field and up the perimeter this way I didn't find anything with just a visual inspection which is what I'm doing today because the grounds frozen anyways but I was hoping for an easy score didn't find it this cellar hole here is quite old. I'm going to say late 1700s to early 1800s or mid 1800s as are a lot of the cellar holes in this particular area that I'm in at the moment. However, I thought I might find something just on the surface, but maybe not quite that old. But that being said, the only other thing I could suggest would be to locate the privy or hit it with a metal detector. But this location is very close to the road just on the side of the road and there's other houses around so i don't want to draw that much attention to myself I'm in here digging it up or whatever in the spring <laughs> yeah i'm sure somebody would be in here wondering what i'm doing but anyways that being said i'm gonna head out to another spot see you there two hours later so here's the next spot i want to check out folks and as you can see if this was in the summertime this grass would be well up to my waist and it would be a nightmare looking around to see if anything was on the ground oh, there's an old car part there there's more here Interesting. What I really want to do is go down to the back of this field. Check that out. I'll check around the outskirts here as well. On the way down. There seems to be some stuff through here. Something there. All right, I'll shut you off for now. I'll get you back up in a bit. So I'm at the back of the field here now, folks. I can see there's a big piece of galvanized metal roofing or something there. There's some other stuff down over this rock face here. See, there's something there. And I see a piece of metal up in there. That dip right in there might be worth checking out. You can get around those trees in the springtime. Right now I'm just basically logging the locations that I want to come back to. So I'm going along the back of the field here. Let's see, there's apple trees down here. Oh. 
There's some more stuff here. There's an old car down in there, I see. I'll check that out in a bit. Here's some stuff up in here. Looks all to be metal though. I think I see some glass over there, but I'm gonna have to shut you off while I get over there. Hang tight. Yep, looks like a big bottle and can dump here, folks. As far as the age of it goes, I don't know. How old the stuff is, I do see some awful colored glass here, though. Not that one there. That's manganese there. There's a uh, Vix up in there. Look, there's a mason jar. It's frozen in the ground, though. Oh, another broken mason down in there. Yeah, the stuff's all frozen. There's a porcelain insulator there. Looks like it's probably broke though. Yeah. That's manganese and blue. Here's a license plate. Looks like it's 50, 1955 or 56. And of course, like I say, there's older stuff in here as well, obviously. Based on that manganese glass. Here's one here too. Oh. 1948 on that one. Hmm. Might be worth scratching around this in the springtime. See if anything comes out. Very well could have been hit before as well. There's that 1955. There's another awful blue mason jar down in here. Broken one. Yeah, I don't think the lid is manganese. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so hard to say what might be down in here. Okay, it stretches way down into there as well. Washing machine. Look at the base of this. It says McDonald Davis Steel Shipping Container. Made in Canada. Down here is 24542. So I'm guessing 1942. Hmm. Yeah, there's some stuff down in here. You say you just gotta pick through it. That's why they call it picking, I guess. Frozen in there. Yeah, there's definitely some old stuff here. One broke. Well, I'm out of here for now, folks. That was a pretty good couple hours worth of exploring around. I'm gonna head up through this field, get the heck out of here. Summertime, that's probably grass is full of ticks. I'll be back in the spring to do some further exploring, maybe down around that way as well. 
Oh, there's a big old, like a windmill or something sticking up there. See that? All right. Thumbs up, folks. Over and out. Can you hear me? Okay. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn.